All right, this is part two of how to create a shooter style video game in Adobe Flash CS4. First part of this tutorial, we created our hero, which is a spaceship, and we created some enemies, and we made our spaceship shoot some bullets. Now, in this part, first part, we're going to go ahead and animate our enemy. So what I've done is I've opened up the movie clip of the enemy, I've added some new keyframes, and then in the second keyframe, I'm going to erase all the tentacles here. And I've got my onion skin turned on so I can see what I drew previously. And I'm just going to draw some more tentacles. I'm going to draw them in a different location. And then when we play the movie clip, or when it plays within our video game, it'll look like it's actually moving. Now you can do this with your main character, you can do this with your enemies. Um, you can add whatever you want to happen, happen. Um, you can make the eyes blink, whatever, you know. So uh, when you're working within that movie clip, that timeline, you can edit just like you would edit a regular frame by frame animation. So I'm just gonna continue to do this. Erase in the next frame. And then again, draw the tentacles in. Now we'll repeat this for the next few frames. And now I've gone through the next few frames and created the moving tentacles. And I'm just going to fill in the last frame here. Now I can go up to my timeline and scrub back and forth and I can get an idea of what this will look like when my video game plays. In fact, we can get back to the main scene. And we can quick export this and you can see now all of the enemies are moving. So that's pretty cool. Now that we know our an animations for our enemy is going to work, let's go ahead and animate the hero or the ship. So we'll double click on the symbol of the ship and up in the timeline we can give ourselves some frames. I'm just going to give myself three or four frames here. And then I'll zoom in and in this case we'll have a little bit of fire coming out of the back of the, the plane or ship or spaceship or whatever you decide it to be. So I'm just going to draw this with a paintbrush, and we'll just make it kind of a yellow-orange. And again, this will work just like a frame-by-frame -frame animation. So I drew this in the first frame, colored it in, and I'll just hit period and go to the next frame, or you can go up to the timeline and click to the next frame. And I'll continue this over the next few frames, just drawing the flames coming out of the back of the plane just a little bit different each time. Okay, once we've spent a few frames on that and we've made our fire look good, we can test it out. And it looks like our ship is doing pretty well. Our enemies fly around and wiggle and they kill us when they hit us. And we can kill them with our bullets. But our bullets are pretty boring, so let's turn these into missiles and have some flames coming off of them. So I'm going to go back to the bullet in our library and I'm going to zoom into it and we can't do the frame by frame here because the bullet is already its own movie clip that's called for in our action script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bullet, I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to convert it to a symbol. Now I'm going to convert it to a movie clip and it doesn't really matter what you name it but I'm going to name it a rocket. And this is going to allow us to double click on that movie clip within the timeline. You can see this up at the top left. Now we have our scene and then our bullet. And then inside of the bullet we've got a rocket movie clip. And then we're going to animate that rocket movie clip frame by frame. So the movie clip will actually exist within the symbol which is named bullet. That way when our code is called for or is calling for the bullet, it's going to show the rocket animation within the bullet. Um, so th that's a little bit tricky, but it should work. So we'll go to the next frame. We'll draw a little bit more fire coming off. I'm going to try to do this relatively quickly. Of course, you may want to spend more time on it. In fact, your uh, what you're drawing might not be a bullet at all. It could be anything.
and there we go. There's the last frame of our frame by frame animation inside of the bullet movie clip. Now we can go back to our main timeline and we can test out our movie. And you can see now every time we shoot the rocket out, there's fire coming off of it and it kills the enemies. So, so far so good. Our video game is coming along. In the next tutorial, we'll add a background and some sounds. So this marks the end of part two of the video tutorial of how to create a shooter video game Flash CS4.